guys, one sec. I just saw this look like a king snake. Oh, I found him. One sec. He's running. Oh, man. Just wait for a sec. Oh, look at this fella. Oh, good lord. This is Lampropeltis jatula splendida. This is the desert king snake. Now, this fella right here is basically a legend out here in the desert because he is a heavy predator on rattlesnakes. I mean, they do eat mice, birds, and other animals like that out here, but this guy earns his name. He is known as the king snake because he literally destroys other snakes out here. I mean, whenever they smell them, they kind of go like in this little frenzy. It's once they pick up that scent, they'll just chase after them. Usually they try to go for the head, and then once they bite them in the head, they'll throw a bunch of coals around and kill a snake by constriction. And I mean, it's one thing to kill a mammal by constriction, because a mammal, you know, you got a pretty good point of purchase on, but for him to kill a snake, it's, it's dang impressive. Like, it just tells you how powerful these guys are. And this is a decent size one, and you can see what differentiates them from um, the speckled king snake over in East Texas is look at their belly. They have a black belly, whereas the speckled king snake had a yellow belly. And also look at that just jet black solid head. But these guys actually range all the way over there to East Texas where the speckled kings are found and they will integrate with one another. And so it's kind of hard to tell them apart, but if you find one with this pure black belly, and especially over in this westernmost part of the range over here in the Tread and Pecos, I mean, these guys are, uh, they're beautiful and you can easily tell that this is a clear desert king snake. And they can get pretty big. They can get over four feet in length and definitely big enough to take on a rattlesnake. And you can see their head is roughly the same size as their neck. And that's used to swallow big prey. They have pretty powerful jaws and when they clamp on, they hold on too. King snakes are hands down one of my favorite snakes. I'm absolutely in love with them. And this is just such a beautiful specimen and a joy to catch. Golly, I love king snakes. And this is what you would call a sock head too. And it's where their, uh, their head is a pure black color or just one dominant color. And they can come in so many different color phases. You can have someone with this black modeling not as prominent on their back and it'll be almost a ton of speckles or the, the circles can be more dominant and there'll be very little to no speckles. And uh, these guys actually go all the way over into Arizona and they can integrate with Mexican black king snakes, California king snakes. So uh, they get around a little bit. They definitely have plenty of range and uh, are the kings of the deserts. So we love this guy, golly is he pretty. So praise God for this fella and we're gonna let him go. You can also see he's, he's almost in shed too. His eyes are just blue. So we'll, we'll put him down by these rocks that he was buying. Hopefully, once he uh, sheds out a little bit more, he'll be able to peel that skin back. So see you later, Desert King, or as we like to call you, DK. God, is he pretty. In this initial footage, you will notice that the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake is moving towards the Desert King Snake. Upon smelling him, he instantly drives himself backwards. This shows that even at a young age, they still retain that initial instinctual survival technique. Just keep themselves away from the Desert King Snake. In this sped up footage, you can see his technique of just basically moving and strafing around the Desert King. He also keeps his head perfectly still as to not draw attention towards it. But while he's keeping his head still, he's also writhing and wiggling his body around. And that's to gain the focus of the Desert King on his body instead of his head. Because if the King Snake were to grab a hold of his head, the Diamondback pretty much knows that it's all over with after that.